Hello and welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews and yet another edition of Stockpile Saturday. What ammo did I buy today? Well, with the M1 Garand now being in my stock of uh, firearms, I needed something to shoot out of it. And I've been looking online and probably in six local shops trying to find some M1 Garand rated or Garand rated uh, 30-06. Almost all the stuff that I can find locally is hunting ammo, soft points or hollow points, 180 or 165 grain. So I went again to my favorite online retailer who yesterday just happened to have some PPU 150 grain Springfield 30-06 ammo for the M1 Grand. This stuff was not cheap by any means. It's just under a dollar a round. Um, and the only reason I bought two cases of this stuff is because, again, I've been to five or six shops in the past week and a half, two weeks. Nobody has full metal jacket, boat tail, 150 grain ammo that is rated to work with the M1 Garand. I did buy a ported gas block from GarandGear.com, and that effectively expands the gas chamber in the um, mechanism inside the gun, which allows some of the pressure to bleed off. So they did a bunch of testing and it showed that you can use the higher pressure or the higher weight bullets with the um, ported gas block and it works perfectly fine. But I did want some ammo that was rated for the gun. Uh, so I bought 400 rounds of this stuff. It's not cheap. Uh, this is another thing that I probably will only put about 40 rounds through when I go to the range just because of the cost of the ammo. But now I have a good amount of M1 Garand 30-06 ammo and a whole bunch of N-block clips that I'm loading here. And I'm sure there's a much better way to load these, but I've only loaded a couple of these and you just kind of got to put the rounds in loosely when you first start on the first six. And then number seven and number eight, you can kind of get in there nice and tight. So I'm sure as I reload these end block clips over and over again, I'll find a better way to do this. Or maybe somebody has some suggestions online. But it does work, even though it's a little bit slow loading. So pretty soon, hopefully, maybe even today, I'm going to get out to the range and take some shots with this rifle and see how she functions. I got to grease it up a little bit before I go out. Um, because that was the original instructions. You use grease, not oil. Grease lasts longer because you have parts sliding against each other. And I'm sure that this ammo will work fine because it's rated for that rifle. But at any rate, thanks again for watching another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. I really appreciate you all stopping in. You can still find some good deals for ammo online or even in some local shops right now. I wouldn't say this was a great deal, but the Millsurp ammo for 30-06 is really drying up. So this was the best I could find. Have a great day. God bless America. Support your two-way rights. Get out there and shoot. Make sure you remind people, if they tell you to give up some of your freedom for the greater good, that freedom is the greater good.